Hi, friends. Uh, today we have Ravi Ranjan. Uh, Ravi, thank you very much for taking the time. This is the second time you're taking your time to discuss your learning journey. So thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. So the pleasure is all mine. Like, uh, I again want to meet you, like, uh, discussing the same and uh, whatever, like, uh, whatever things that encouraged me again, like, in this... Uh, uh, so we have interviewed uh, last year, right? Yes, so, yes. It's uh, exactly been a year since we talked last time. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So, like, uh, uh, I want to also share my journey to the people, Perfect. like, uh, who are in the industry or feel sometimes like stuck in an industry, and like, uh, 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 they don't like they get into the comfort zone, right? And yes. uh, they think that uh, moving out is not easy. So, right. like, uh, I, I thought like uh, you will be the best medium, like, to share this message. That's sure, right. sure. We'll surely come to that. But I'll give a brief background so that others have context. So Ravi graduated with a B.Tech in Computer Science and Information Technology in 2020. And he was our Applied AI course student during his final year. And at the peak of pandemic, uh, sometime around September of last year, I believe, uh, he joined at uh, 3K Technologies as a data scientist, as a fresher data scientist. And uh, uh, very good, very good move right out of college as a fresher, he joined 3K. And he worked there for about a year and three months, roughly 15 months. And during this 15 months also, he renewed his course. He started putting in more effort, learning more complex topics, learning new things. And I'm very happy to inform everyone that Ravi recently joined Tiger Analytics, which is a very, very good company, very solid company. Again, a company that hires a lot of our students. So uh, very happy to see that you transitioned to Tiger Analytics as a senior data analyst. And also very interestingly, congratulations on getting a 300% salary hike because you continue to learn, continue to keep improving your skills, didn't settle down, as you rightly said, into a data scientist role, kept improving, kept trying to go to the next company. And within 15 months, even though you got hired at the peak of pandemic, within 15 months, you turned around and went to a better company. I mean, we wish you all the success. I again want to interview you again in a year or two going into a fang-like company. So looking forward to it or becoming a very senior uh, analyst or a data scientist at uh, Tiger Analytics, Tiger Analytics itself. It's a phenomenally good company. So thank you very much for taking the time to share your journey again. Hey, thanks, thanks. Okay. Cool, Based cool. Yep. So uh, let's, let's go into, I'll focus not on your previous learnings, but something that you've learned in the last 15, 16 months. So I'll focus more on that. Uh, yeah. But before we go there, I have a quick question. As an undergraduate student, why did you take this journey into data science? Why not other fields? What is it that motivated you to get into the data science field during uh, your final year of BTEC? Yes, yes. Like, uh, see, uh, when I opted this course, I was in uh, sixth semester, okay, in my BTEC. Okay, so like uh, that time, I have started uh, coding in like uh, Python, okay, and uh, I have done like uh, pretty much good, like, uh, I, I do code on hacker rank, hacker rank, like competitive coding and all using Python. So uh, at a point of time, like I asked this question, like what next, what to do with this Python thing? <laughs> okay, so I have two options. Like I can go into that SDE role, software development role, like everybody that are like graduating and they are going into SDE one role. Okay, so like uh, I, I thought something different. Like I tried, uh, started on the internet like uh, which field is like growing and which will be like grow in, in a, like uh, in, in a decade or two okay so like uh, what is the need of the market so this type of the questions like i'm asking myself okay uh, in, in, the, in the college itself and like uh, but the answers you know like googling <laughs> and google gave me best answers and like so uh, and 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 the knowledge of python that i want to utilize so like uh, uh, it is it is there like you uh, the python had the uh, uh, good come uh, like you can say through python you can go in data science field so like that's what like i choose data science so uh, it seems like uh, you knew python and you wanted to do something worthwhile with python and you python. you you are trying to align your career with market demand Yes, yes. Like, like uh, I have no, uh, uh, like you can say in college, you do not have idea about what is data science, what is this, like it's totally new to me, just a term only. But I want to utilize this Python knowledge, okay, into that field. So like, okay, so let's move ahead this, with this field, like 
and then I have opted your course and and then I'm start searching like which will be the best thing like which will guide me to like uh, uh, learn this thing totally like okay so now I got uh, to know about your course and then I enrolled and then like everything changed. <laughs> very good, very good. So uh, I believe uh, you you got placed at 3K Technologies again another company that has hired many of our students in the past. So at 3K Technologies in the 15 months that you worked there. What were what are the projects that you work on worked on? What did you learn from those, mm -hmm. and how did you leverage our applied AI course even while you were a data scientist at 3K Technologies to continuously improve? Yeah. So uh, see, when you join a company as a fresher, like everything is new to uh, because that is a different zone. Uh, like uh, you have to understand your managers, your uh, client, your leader, your uh, team working is uh, like. Uh, first time like you will be introduced to the team working uh, uh, field so uh, that was the totally new experience two three months like uh, i've been assigned a task like sim a simple task to do some analysis of the data simple eda type of stuffs okay then like i'm uh, introduced to the cloud okay so like uh, uh, they have given me uh, azure cloud access and like they have put me to like learn this technique like so that is the new thing that i have learned in the 3k and uh, i understand that uh, cloud knowledge is like a mandatory now like either you learn aws gcp or azure so uh, i understand like cloud knowledge is now mandatory because you, when 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 you do big data like uh, that's very true uh, this is also feedback that we got from a lot of our recruiting partners and hence we incorporated more and more about things like aws SageMaker more machine like cube flow we started incorporating many of them in the last year or so because that's the feedback that we got from our advisors and also recruiting partners you're very true that in addition to the core machine learning skills having functional knowledge basic understanding of how to use some of these cloud services to get your work done is super helpful that's very true so like yeah so my manager and leader told the same like you have the basic knowledge you have the good knowledge of algorithms you have good knowledge theory knowledge like just uh, apply these things on cloud Okay, so like learn this cloud technique. So I've learned it. Uh, uh, they have a, like also told uh, that uh, we have the transfer learning things. Like we have the cognitive services, Azure cognitive services. Uh, we have uh, inbuilt model. Uh, try to like learn those, how to call the APIs and get the things done without training a model and all. Uh, so that's the stuff like uh, I learned and uh, yep, uh, it, it was a good experience. And then I have done some a couple of uh, client projects as well. Uh, uh, and like uh, those are related to data science uh, on cloud. Okay. Yeah. So. And these clients were using <laughs> Azure Cloud. Yeah. Yeah. Azure Cloud. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So uh, now, uh, in your interviewing with uh, with with Tiger Analytics, in your, as you're transitioning from 3K Technologies to Tiger Analytics, right? As a senior data analyst, mm -hmm. what were your interviews like, and what were they expecting in the interviews? What skills were they expecting, given that? You are no more a fresher. You are somebody with about a year of experience, uh -huh. learned a little bit of cloud, know some basic machine learning, obviously. So what were the interviews like for a senior data analyst at Tiger Analytics? Yeah, so like uh, when you interview with some experience, let's say a year or a two, then the first question that interview will ask you, like uh, what is the client project that you have done? Uh, like what are the like projects that you have done for some clients? So, okay, so this is the first question uh, usually they ask. Okay, so you have to explain your project end to end, like uh, whatever you can explain. Uh, and you can expect questions from them, like uh, from that. and. Uh, uh, after that, like uh, I understand, like they want to uh, understand if you really know the things or not. So they will like uh, ask you to do some some basic coding skill. They will check your some basic coding skills uh, in Python only. Okay, uh, they have like uh, in Tiger Analytics. I am specifically uh, saying because uh, I have also interviewed for multiple companies. Somewhere they ask pandas uh, information, some NumPy uh, knowledge. Some, some check your computer vision knowledge as part of the need. But in Tiger Analytics, uh, for senior uh, analyst role, they have like uh, asked me to uh, write some uh, program that is like Fibonacci series, you have to write. Then- Basic uh, coding skills. Yeah, basic coding skill, like uh, given a string, generate the n gram, giving the n value, generate the n grams. They have also uh, uh, asked some uh, mathematical quantitative questions like, uh, yeah, of course, from probability statistics, you, have, you 
you, you you will like uh, must get two or three questions from probability and statistics so from uh, uh, what types of questions do you have you encountered more in all of your interviews for a senior analyst or a senior data scientist type of role from mm -hmm. probability and statistics uh, in probability like uh, 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 that uh, that theorem uh, a by b like uh, uh, that is what is that called P probability of a by b that conditional probability yeah the term base that. theorem basically yeah base theorem and conditional probability they ask and uh, they put a question from it okay uh, and uh, uh, in statistics basic basic nothing like fancy like correlation covariance standard deviation like gaussian curve okay and uh, that uh, that j normal variate and uh, like uh, how we'll convert a, a data set, uh, let's say uh, unknown distribution to a Gaussian distribution. Okay, this type of questions from uh, statistics, from probability, are yeah, simple. Uh, 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 checking your uh, thinking skill, like uh, uh, permutation combination using that. We have some probability questions on that. Like how, 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 many, how, how many times like you can choose this ball and by divided basic by two probability two. stats, nothing too complex. Basic probability stats right. and uh, some quantitative questions like uh, uh, to check your uh, thinking skills, like uh, how you think in the mathematics way. Okay, like uh, from it sounds like a very tough problem, but uh, when you like uh, try to drill down into some equations, mathematics equation, it is super easy. Got so it, like uh, like conditional probability right <laughs> like some problems like uh, you 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 start uh, checking all possible you you in mind you will try to like do brute brute force uh, technique but uh, that's doesn't the right way because in interview like you you, you can't try all combinations and uh, like it will take some time right so like uh, you have to make it into some equations and all then it is drill down got it got it basic mathematical aptitude basic mathematical and basic Python uh, knowledge. And uh, yep, uh, uh, they ask me questions about logistic regression, linear regression, decision tree, uh, like how classification algorithm is different from clustering. Ba basic question, not that much tough. Uh, yeah, they, they dive deep into uh, confusion metrics, precision, recall, met, uh, AUC curve. Okay. And uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, if you if they, they they ask you to choose a data science project okay that you have done uh, either for client or on your research based okay. project and uh, uh, you can expect questions on that like whatever techniques you told like i have applied this algorithm you can expect question from data or whatever like uh, metric you have used like they will they will ask of course i think they're uh, at least from our own experiences with interviews at tiger analytics they look for strong foundations Mm -hmm. good mathematical basic skills yeah. basics they're testing for basics mm -hmm. they want you to have that mathematical way of thinking simple mm -hmm. problems because i think they believe that somebody who has strong foundations can pick up whatever is needed as time progresses yeah yeah so like i told you as like they, they want like thinking capability like uh drilling down complex problem into equations that's what they are looking for. <laughs> very good, very good. So what suggestions would you give for people very similar to you, maybe one year of data science experience or a data analyst experience mm -hmm. on how they can continuously improve to get into better roles and better companies uh, with some experience or grow within the same organization itself? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, see, uh, we know that, we all know, we all data science folks know that uh, this field is, how, how this field is like, uh, growing or you can say like uh, it is enhancing day by day per day we have thousands of like uh, in a month you can like expect thousands of papers to be released <laughs> so like we have to keep ourselves up to date okay like the uh, the like uh, the demand of the like you have to understand the market demand what is uh, uh, what uh, the companies are expecting so so uh, like what I did is uh, before interview, like before I make, made my mind to like resign or like uh, started interviewing, what I did is like I first uh, researched on the net, what is the uh, current uh, market demand. Okay, so then like I reversed my all syllabus as what uh, I have read in the applied air. Then like I, I, I uh, just, uh, uh, I'm a continuous co uh, a student of this applied AI, so I renewed the course and I have checked like uh, what are the uh, advanced topic that uh, you have teached like um, 
then we I found that uh, yeah GPT models we have we have this transformer BERT uh, and techniques and like uh, in NLP and in computer vision uh, we have that YOLO and everything like object detection and so yep that's helped me a lot because uh, not in Tiger but uh, in other companies where like I was interviewing for a computer vision role they like dived deep into uh, YOLO algorithm and like they are uh, asking about feature pyramid networks and like how it is like uh, going uh, above the network like how uh, why it is giving uh, output in three layers okay so this type of questions like so they uh, wanted you to understand the YOLO architecture internals mm -hmm. very very well yes 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 so like they are asking about that net uh, and all um, all architectures and also yep so like uh, it it helps it helps me like suggestion for the folks that uh, that are in a company or let's say for fraser as well because one year is nothing just like a fraser you can expect so for fraser as well as the com uh, people who are in the company my like suggestion will be a keep your first keep yourself updated okay and uh, if you are in a project in a client project in a data science project then like uh, uh, give your 100% there and like uh, start working on that. Start learning those techniques. What is uh, uh, latest, uh, you can say, uh, techniques available in the market, like what companies are using uh, and what is the demand there. So learn those things. Cool, cool. Very nice. Very valid suggestions. I think what you're referring to is be a lifelong learner, uh, gain deep expertise in areas that you, that, that you uh, prefer to work in in the long run. And I think those are all very valid suggestions. Uh, again, uh, Ravi, thank you very much for taking the time. Uh, again, it's very good to see you grow very quickly in a short span of time. And we wish to see you grow further and with, with, within Tiger Analytics itself and beyond. And thank you very much once again for taking the time. Hey, hey, the pleasure is all mine. Like uh, I want to <laughs> like this, uh, this conversation to be like happen because uh, uh, yep, uh, I want to share this message. No. Yeah, and I think it will help a lot of people uh, who are already working as data scientists. Some of them are students, uh, which, will, uh, which will help them immensely in how to plan their career in a year to two. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks, thanks. Thanks, sir.